oh my God, I'm doing these 20 things on a daily basis. If I stop doing one of these, my business is gonna go up in flames. Probably not, but it feels like that. And that is the recipe for burnout. If you can commit to a few small things that will move your business forward and you will find those by setting that foundation, setting those goals at the very beginning, what do you need to do to get to $100,000 this year? So if you're feeling burnout on Etsy and you're wondering how the heck do you manage it, I'm going to ask Chris Schaefer. Chris, what are some things that you can do if you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling burnout, and what are some things that you can do to help not feel that and also grow your business? Scott, it comes down to just a few main things. And the very first thing that you need to do is set realistic expectations. The number one thing you will find that will lead you to burnout is having unrealistic expectations. I hate to break it to you. It does not matter how many dancing avocado mugs you think you're going to sell. You're not going to make a million dollars between now and Friday, right? We need to set realistic expectations. The best way I've found to do that, you can use whatever tool works for you, but the best way that I found to do that is using that smart goal framework. So every goal that we set is specific, it's measurable, it's actionable, it's realistic, right? And that's that million dollars by tomorrow, probably not realistic, and it's time bound. So we say, we're going to make X money in Y time, and we have a reason to think that we can get to that place. If we have a realistic foundation, that makes a lot of this process a lot easier. In the Etsy ecosystem, Scott, the next thing I see that leads to Etsy burnout the most is chasing trends or buying buying product lottery tickets, right? Going and watching all the YouTube videos about how this mug will make you $100,000 and trying to launch as many products as possible, trying to get as many unbaited hooks just floating out in the water, hoping that the fish will come bite them as possible because eventually one of those will turn into traffic and that traffic will turn into sales. Rather than doing that, we should be doing tip number three here, which is the less is more mindset. Rather than trying to launch as many products as possible, we need to be picking products people are looking for. If we can focus that time, energy, and effort, that product creation energy around products that we know are going to sell, it makes our life a heck of a lot easier. We have to do a little bit more on the product research side and a little bit less on the design side because we already know what's going to sell. We're going to have fewer listings, which means we can save that extra money and use that for something like Etsy ads, which will drive us even more traffic. And I think that less is more mindset is something that is huge in helping people avoid burnout. If you're doing those things, Scott, there are two more that I think are important for people who are trying to avoid burnout, especially in the Etsy ecosystem. The next one would be putting your blinders on, avoiding distractions. You've already set that goal. You know what your goal is. You're creating the products. You're doing the things that you need to do. Do not get distracted. It's very easy, especially if you're as ADD as I am, to say, hey, let me go watch this one video about this one weird new trick that's going to revolutionize my Etsy business. Rather than doing that, Focus on the fundamentals. Get those blinders on until you've reached your goal, at least for today, and then go watch that video, right? There's nothing wrong with watching it, but don't let that change your entire business model. Don't let that derail your day. Focus on the things you need to be doing. And that takes us to tip number five, Scott, which is creating your focused work schedule. If you can commit to doing a handful of things that will move your business forward on a daily basis, you are going to avoid burnout and you're going to see the results on your way to the goal that you committed to. If you try to do everything all of the time, that one day next week that you wake up and you go, I just don't wanna do anything today, you're not gonna do anything. And then you're gonna end up in this flywheel of guilt and self-doubt, and you're going to start to burn yourself out. Rather than saying, I need to launch 10 new products today. I need to product research a thousand products. I need to pick 15 new niches for my business. Bad advice, generally speaking, but whatever that is, instead of committing to doing 100 things or 50 things or 20 things, commit to one, two, or maybe three things that you're going to do that will move your business forward. That might look like all I need to do today is look at my Etsy ads data. And if I do that, I can feel like I was productive today. That can be enough to get you headed in the right direction. People try to do too much, and that is what leads to burnout. The reason why I wanted to do this, guys, is it, it's a real thing. Like people are feeling burnout. I've felt it. Chris has felt it. We've all felt it. Uh, and it's about us then taking a step back and then looking at what we're doing and then really looking at the things that really, truly matter. And to me, uh, if we can do that, it can slow things down a little bit, but also allow us to have concentrated focus time. Uh, so we had a question from Stefa who said, if you focus on the right thing, then what? 
you keep focusing on the right thing, yeah. right? How are you going to know you're focused on the right thing? You start moving incrementally and slowly towards your goal. Maybe you move faster than you thought you were going to, but you're going to start to see progress. If you're not seeing progress, chances are you're not focused on the right thing. Bailey said, I haven't been burnt out since I switched from the general store model to building a brand based on a niche. Thank you guys. Way less listing, no more headaches, uh, no more headless chicken and sales keep going up. <laughs>